Circle Live, they call him the Love King, and with the silky smooth delivery and persona to match, he's made himself an R&B staple. Please welcome my good friend, Raheem Devon. to the circle. Thank you. I say you're cleaner than the Board of Health. Hey. Now you done came down here like you're supposed to, you know. Yeah. I really appreciate this outfit. You got to <laughs> tell me where this suit is from. Oh man, uh, my stylist uh, Tiffany Barringer mm -hmm. has been great, phenomenal, you know. Uh, just really trying to step my game up, mm -hmm. you know. So Tiffany hooked you up. Yeah, Tiffany hooked me up. Tiffany know? is doing a thing. Yeah. Thank you. It's a brother named Crazy Legs. Crazy Legs and Tiffany. Yeah, Crazy Legs is the, is the actual, you know, Taylor and... And Tiffany yeah, he, he, is the ass. And he, gift, he gifted a player, you know. Okay, I mean? well, he did his thing. Yeah, he did you his shop. thing. You know. Now, more than that, you have a single that is top ten, what well, is top ten reaching every week to go to number one. Yeah. Number congratulations. Five, number five. You had number yeah. five. Congratulations. Yeah, you had it for number one, though. And it's very, very tough. I want people to know in the world that it yeah. is very, very tough to get these singles up to the top ten. Mm -hmm. So congratulations on that. Thank you. You have an album coming out this week, Friday, October nineteenth. Yeah, we're two days away. And what's the name of this album? Decade of a Love King. The Decade of a Love King. First it was a Love King, now it's the Decade. Yeah, Decade of, of a Love King. King. Is that because you've been out? You've been out longer than ten years. Well. I'm in my second decade mm. now, you know, and, uh, you know, I, it, it's always been that I'd put out an album every two to three years, mm -hmm. and uh, basically this is this is my way of telling the fans, thank you for waiting for so, so long for this sixth album, yeah. but also I solemnly swear that after uh, the 19th of October, I will start putting out music uh, a lot more consistently, you mm -hmm. know, being, being on an indie and tweaking different things on the business side. I feel comfortable, you know, putting out music whenever I want at this point, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, I have over, I have a, I have a vast catalog of music I'm sitting on. I, I got ten, about ten years worth of music. Well, recorded. see, well, so I we know. In a new decade. And, and and beyond the decade, I know that you were the first, the first R&B singer or the first singer period to sing to in, in a mixtape form. See, you did your homework. I'm just saying. Well, I know because we was we was on down Label to the jab records. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But you were the first singer to do mixtapes. What was your conscious decision to merge singing and hip hop mixtapes? Because you know that's usually a MC thing. So I'm, why I'm, did you want to do that? I mean, I'm definitely I'm, I'm heavily influenced by hip hop. You know. Um, all genres of hip hop, that is, mm -hmm. you know, from the trapping and trapping rapper mm -hmm. to the most <laughs> conscious of, of them, you know. Uh, so I always paid attention to the cadence, mm -hmm. you know, how they flow over the beat, the mm -hmm. delivery, and so so when I my, my writing process, well, I don't physically write anything down. Right. Uh, it's it's very similar to how you know I've seen different interviews with like Jay Z or or uh, Lil Wayne. Um, speak about that creative process. Mine is the same, like in terms, of, and it wasn't always like that. Right. But you know, I'm, 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 you know, almost 20 years now. I can't think of the last time I committed to putting a pen to paper to write something down. Did you want to be an MC at first, or was it always singing? There was a period in time. There are some. There, there are some. Moments uh, in, in the shadows. Of, of, <laughs> of, of, yeah, of me rhyming and spitting 16s. I, I, you know, I think. Um, I didn't. I didn't choose to, to become an MC for a lot of different reasons. One, I, I, I personally, I don't feel like I had the patience to sit down and and, and perfect, you know, those 16 bars. Like I'm a perfectionist, and mm -hmm. I think I probably would just drive yourself crazy. Yeah, just drive myself crazy trying to figure that out. And then, and then with hip hop, you know, uh, there's an element to it, and, and 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 you know, although I come from humble beginnings, you know, I'm I'm, I'm a firm believer that you're gonna be held accountable for what you say on the record. You know, uh, and, and even what I've experienced in, you know, where I am in my life as a man now, you know, holding myself accountable for what I talk about on the record. Mm -hmm. Because I realize, you know, um, in, in, in my own healing and transition that I'm going through spiritually and mentally and physically that um, for, for a long time I was making these records and, 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 and 
but I but I wasn't I didn't feel like I was that guy off stage mm -hmm. that I was on stage wow. when it come when it came to matters of the heart mm. and I realized that I, that I had been walking around thinking that thinking that I was the man and had to learn how to become a man message and, um, and yeah so it's it's it, so with the hip hop thing, you know, is it certain thing? I make conscious as a songwriter and being as gifted as we are. Right. We, can, we make conscious decisions about what we want to talk about. Right. On a record. Right. So I never wanted to be that guy that was calling women out of their name and stuff like that. You know, me, me, my mother and my grandmother, two of the strongest women I know. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I try to make music that. Um, exemplifies that lyrically. Right. So R&B you know? comes from the core of you. Yeah, definitely. So Raheem, now I know that you, since you have an album coming out this Friday, uh -huh. one of the things that R&B artists uh, have to do mm -hmm. is tour. Mm -hmm. What would be your dream tour? Any artist? Oh man, that's tough. Um, <laughs> Sade. Ooh, you right. Right now, I'd go with, uh, with her. Her, okay, I like her too. Yeah, I, she's very Sade esque. Yeah. Um, and just I throw like the roots in there. Oh, that's fun. The that's roots a good are like time. the hip hop Rolling Stone for mm -hmm. me. Like I, would, I, I had an opportunity to be on their last album. I want to do a whole album with the Roots at some point. Yeah, the Roots are dope. Yeah, they're dope music. So her, Sade, and the Roots. Yeah, I do something like that. Well, I would buy tickets to that yeah. show. Speaking of tickets, we will be right back. So don't go anywhere. We'll have more with Raheem. We are back with the love king of R&B, Raheem Devon. Now, I re now, Raheem, I remember we had a show together in Jamaica, mm -hmm. and this was my first time seeing you perform, and one of the coolest things that I had ever seen mm -hmm. was um, you had a, a painter on stage painting while you were performing. Yeah. What was the intentionality behind that? Because I always thought that that was so cool. I think you're speaking about Demont Pender. Yes. Shout out to my bro, Demont Pender. It's my boy. Who, who's traveled with me for many years. I originally saw my other bro, Wes Felton, was the one that gave me the idea to have Demont paint on stage. And you know, I'm, I'm surrounded by uh, a lot of phenomenal talent. There's mm -hmm. a lot of wonderful artists, um, painters, and what have you. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, in the DC area right. and, and just and, and nationally. So I'm just giving different artists different looks at this at, at, the, at this point. You know, shout out to Yvette who did my actual artwork for uh, my, my my album as well. So mm -hmm. it's just you know it's just a, it's a collective. You right. know what I mean? Being able to call on different artists. And that. Well, speaking of collection, you have a very uh, vast collection of records, and two yeah. of the records that we love down to the circle is one called Complicated. Okay. And the other one is called Love Connection. I'm kind of single. Okay. But I'm in love. It's complicated because, because. Sing now. Now, if you're going to do all that, okay, then now we got a different show. <laughs> but as of now, we're going to take those two records and we're going to play a little game. Oh. Are you down? We have a game I'm that is named after your game. songs. All so, right. Is it complicated or is it a love connection? We're going to show you some pictures of some very, very well-established <laughs> women. And you're going to let us know if the relationship between you and that person is either complicated, complicated or, or a love, show enough love, love connection. connection. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you sure? I am <laughs> ready to go. Okay. Now, Tiffany Haddish. Complicated. Oh, see. Okay. Issa Rae. Complicated. Oh, you tripping. Issa Rae got long paper. Okay, let me see. It ain't about the paper. Let me think. Still. Uh, Lupita. Compl complicated is not a bad thing. Oh, okay. Well, you, yeah. can, you can tell us what that is. It's, this is just based on kind of like, you know, me fishing around on the gram or... So, so, so basically, you be with her, but you cheat. Or, 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 we, or we've had no, not even necessarily <laughs> cheating thing. You know. Okay, yeah. that's a good explanation. Third person, Lupita. Love connection. Yeah, come on now, Lupita, bad. Yeah, you know, I, I got a, you know, well, I'm a recovering, I'm a recovering loveaholic. Um, you know, I have, a, I, I once had a fetish for black ice cream. Oh my God. <laughs> I do have a I do have a song called Black Ice Cream, you know. So. That is true. Yeah. That is another song. Okay, would you have Black Ice Cream with Stacy Dash? 
Uh, no, she can't get. She can't get no. She play can't get me. no play. Now, yeah. why, why Stacey can't because, get no tick? I mean, when we when we go to vote, we go in two different directions. We got to, <laughs> we got to be, you know, we got to be, we got to be, on, we got to be on the same note, spiritually, mentally, physically, and on the voters' ballot. So. I know that's right. And on that yeah, good right. note, thank you so much, Raheem, for being here with us on Sister Circle. You know, we love you, and you're always welcome here. Thank always, you. always. And you can get his new album, which comes out this Friday, Decade of a Love King. It drops on Friday. And yeah. you want to call the radio stations and tell them to listen to his single. It's everywhere digital. Yes. All right? It means it's already in your phone. You can pre-order it now. You get three cuts. Hello, somebody. It's like that. You know what I'm talking about? Like, hey, <laughs> it's going to be good. It's not for the Two Minute Brothers, though. Uh-oh. All well, right? And on that good note, and, that and the is. conversation always continues on Sister Circle and all social media platforms. Peace out.